Today is the day that you're gonna learn how to use Notion. It's back to school season and there is literally no better time to get your life together. And I promise you, everybody who has their life together is using Notion. And if you have been scrolling through Pinterest and looking at social media feeds and wondering how you get these gorgeous, cute dashboards to run your life, whether you're going back to school, whether you have a kid going back to school, whether you're just, you know, feeling re-inspired by the academic year, today is the day I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use Notion for pretty much anything. And this video amazingly is brought to you by Notion themselves. So there will be a link in the description so you can start using Notion for free today if you want to. And I am so excited to be working with them. I have used Notion personally for so many years. I use it to run my whole business. I use it to run my whole life. So there is really no better partner for this episode. Show them some love and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making a dashboard where you can run your entire life from. So this is gonna be great if you're going back to school, you're trying to balance a bunch of things, you're trying to balance classes, you're trying to balance maybe a job hunt, putting together your portfolio work. This is a dashboard and all of these pages are clickable to different things that you might need. So this person is looking for a job. Of course, they need a grocery list, their portfolio, so they can keep track of all their portfolio work, their goals, they have a spot to track their habits, and then they have a calendar to track all of their practice, their classes, when their deadlines are, when they're moving in, all of the things they have going on for the school year, and it looks really cute too. And this is actually really easy to build and super customizable once you know how to use Notion. So you could make something like this no matter what stage of life that you're in. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open a new page, and if you're opening Notion for the first time, this might be what it looks like for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is title this. You can of course go crazy, call this whatever you want, but I'm just gonna keep it simple today and call this my dashboard. And once I have my title in, the next thing I like to do is add a cover. So if you hover over where you've just written in your title, there's a button that says add cover. I can go ahead and click on that and it'll automatically pick a photo for me, but I can change it to whatever I want. I just need to click on change cover. And now I can choose anything from this gallery. I can upload my own photo. I can link a photo that I found somewhere like Pinterest, or I can use Unsplash and search right in Notion without having to leave. And I like to use this all the time, to be honest with you, especially when I'm building a system for the first time and I don't wanna mess around too, too much, but you can get this to look super, super, super pretty. So I'm putting in a photo of the sky because I feel like that is gonna work really well with my personal aesthetic. And now I like to choose an icon. This is gonna show up in your sideboard as well. So I like to use something that kind of goes with whatever page I'm making. So you can choose an emoji, you can choose an icon, or you can upload your own image as well you can upload an image or what I like to do is I like to go to Pinterest and then look for a cute gif and once I find one I like I can just click on it and then I can right click copy the image address and then go back and just paste it right in there and now I can see exactly how that it's gonna look and I can go ahead and add that and it'll show up in my sideboard as well so that's super customizable. You can make that exactly how you want it to be. The other thing I like to do is I like to click on these three dots in the top right corner and you can adjust all sorts of things. So you can change the fonts here. You can change how things look. What I like to do is turn on small text and full width so I get more use out of my space. Now I can add literally anything to this, but I'm gonna start with our very first database. <gasps> A calendar see it's a lot less complex than you thought so all you need to do is like run your mouse along the side right under where you've written your title and there will be a plus and a set of dots here and if you click on the plus button you can go through and see anything that you want to add to your notion I'm gonna go ahead and click on calendar view and it's gonna go ahead and add a calendar for me and I can go ahead and title this I'm gonna title it schedule I can add emojis in here which I do all the time to make things even cuter. And now that I have a calendar in here, this is actually super easy to add things to. All I wanna do is click on any date to add something in. I'm gonna go ahead and write in class here. And if I click on the date, I can change the start and end date. I can include the time by just toggling that on. And then I have an option to add the time into anything that I add to this calendar, which is great. You can adjust all of the properties in here based on whatever calendar that you're making. But what I like to do is add tags. And I think this is especially good if you're going back to school. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of subjects in here. And 
and it will automatically assign colors to the tags when you add them. And you can just hover over them and you'll see these little three dots in the right side of each of your tags. And if you click on that, you can go ahead and change the color of the tag to whatever your preference is. And now whenever you add a new date to your calendar, you can choose to tag it so that you can see it color coded and it's actually really great. I'm gonna add a bunch more to this calendar and then I'll show you how you can turn it on so you can see all of your things color coded. And all of these tags you can adjust and add more to as you go. So don't feel like you have to know everything all at once when you start. You can definitely always adjust these systems to work for you. And all of these dates you can just move around on your calendar by like grabbing and dragging it to any date. So it's very, very intuitive and easy to use. Okay, now that I have some stuff in here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the color so I can see all of these things color coded. So right beside new up top here, there is a button that I can click on and these are my settings. There are all sorts of things that you can play with in here, but what I'm gonna go ahead and click on is conditional color. And now I'm gonna add a new color setting and I'm gonna click on tags. And it's gonna go ahead and tag these with the colors that I have preset in here, which is awesome. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a couple of headers because I wanna keep an ongoing to-do list and have a section for all of my other life things that I wanna go ahead and add to this particular dashboard. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is just type in to-do and I'm gonna type in life. And I can go ahead and highlight these and change them to look exactly how I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and bold and italicize these. If I hit this little A, I can change the color of the text. The other thing I can do is I can go ahead and select the dots to the left and I can click on color. And if I do that, I can change the background color as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pink. And as you can see, now I have these full blocks of color, which are really nice, I think, for headers. And I'm gonna go ahead and move them. So Notion in general is literally just a like a block system so I can move things anywhere that I want and as long as I see that little blue line I know exactly where it's gonna go I can even butt them up right next to each other so I'm gonna grab one bring it to one side and I'll see a little blue divider there and then I'll know I'll be able to grab them and put them right next to each other I can grab the dividers in between them as well and adjust this to my preferences and to turn this into a to-do list it's really easy to just go ahead and write whatever I need to do right underneath here so I'm just gonna put in a couple of example to-dos here. And I can go ahead and highlight all of them, click on those little buttons, and then I'm gonna click on turn into it. And there's tons of options in here. What I'm gonna do is use the to-do list, and it will go ahead and turn this into a little checkable list. But I could also turn it into a numbered list. I could turn it into a bulleted list. I could turn it into a toggle list. You have so many options that you can choose from. Now the calendar in Notion is awesome because I can turn any of these events I've added into their own pages. So if I go ahead and click on one, I can just type underneath here and I've now turned this into a place that I can take my class notes, meeting notes, interview notes, anything that I wanna keep track of. And it's gonna go ahead and keep it in its own page that I can do whatever I would like with later. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add in an image. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus icon here, click on image and I can upload any photo that I want. So I have a design that I've made myself that I'm gonna go ahead and add in here. And just like any of the text boxes that we've just moved around, I can resize this and adjust it anywhere on the page and make it look exactly how I want it to look. I like adding little images like this because I do feel like when things are cuter, you're much more likely to use them. And I highly recommend personalizing all of your workspaces when you can. And it is really easy to do in Notion. So I always do. Look how cute this is. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add a few databases under life. These are gonna be clickable, so I'm gonna be able to click from my dashboard to anything else that I'm working on. So I'm gonna be working on a job hunt, maybe setting some goals. Of course, I need a shopping list. Don't let the word database confuse you. It could be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. So the first thing I'm gonna do is maybe put in a job hunt because maybe I am starting the new semester and I'm looking for a job. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in exactly what I want the title to be. And then I can just go ahead and click on those buttons and turn this into a page and now I can go ahead and click on job hunt and it's gonna open up its own page so I'm gonna go ahead and make this full width and small text that's my preference I can change the cover here I can do the exact same things I did on the other page if I want to 
So I can customize these databases to anything that I need. So for this job hunt, I'm of course gonna have to keep track of who my main contact is, if I've sent out my resume, if I've customized my cover letter, if I have an interview lined up, I want the email addresses of the person that I'm gonna be in contact with, things like that. And it's actually so easy to make databases for pretty much anything that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus button and I'm gonna go ahead and use an inline database. And now on the right, there's a spot under new database where it says build with AI and this is my favorite new function in Notion. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and now I can just describe the system I want it to build and it will build it for me. It is awesome. So I'm just gonna say, make a resume tracker to track what jobs I'm applying for, who my main contact is, their email, if I've set my resume, customized my cover letter, and a section to track if I have followed up after or received an interview. And once it's done generating, it'll give you an option to further customize it. So if there's anything that you wanna change, you can go ahead and do it on this page and then click continue. And that is it. You have your entire database done for you. You have a system built for you. So for pretty much anything that you want, you can create things like this. So I'm gonna go ahead back to my dashboard. And the next thing I'm gonna do is make my shopping list. And I'm gonna do this in exactly the same way. You can imagine just how much time this is saving me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a page. Click on that page and I'm going to add a new database. And this time when I build with AI, I'm gonna say make a shopping list for the grocery store. And once it's finished thinking, just like the last one, it'll give me options here to customize. And as you can see, both of these systems are completely unique. So it really does figure out exactly what you need for each thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back. And now I have my job hunt, I have my shopping list, and your options are really endless. But the other thing that you can do is click on templates here on the left and it will open up a template marketplace and you can go ahead and search for pretty much anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for maybe a habit tracker. And once I find one I like, I can go ahead and add it to my workspace and I'll see it on the left. And when I do that, I can go ahead and click into this page and I can adjust this to whatever I want it to be so that it looks exactly the way I want my habit tracker to look. And when I go back to my dashboard now, I can simply grab this page and drag it into my database. And now I have another clickable tracker built right in that I did not spend a lot of time making. And as you can see, this is so easy to use. I can use this to track my groceries. I could use it to track what jobs I'm applying to. I can use it to track what portfolio work that I wanna add and I wanna remember to use in my portfolio. I could use this to generate a portfolio website. I can use this to keep track of pretty much anything that you can think of, and it is so useful. And as you can see, it really doesn't take a long time to figure out how to get a handle on Notion. So let me know if you have any questions, let me know if this was helpful, and thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring this video because it just wouldn't be possible without them. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps out this little channel so much. My name is Chantel and I make tech reviews and tech tutorials for normal people. So if that is your vibe, stick around and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye.